My name is John Hagen, and this is my story. I was born in 1952 in the Upper West Side of New York City. This was a, an Irish Catholic, what I would call working class neighborhood. My earliest memories were that of lots of drinking, alcoholism rampant, lots of fighting and violence in the home and out of the home. So much so that my two youngest brothers were, were taken from the home. Shortly thereafter, <clears throat> in this dramatic courtroom setting, I was taken from the home with my mother trying to grab a hold of me and me trying to grab a hold of her. I saw her one more time about five years later, shortly before her death. I decided at that time that the world wasn't a safe place and that I was going to take matters into my own hands and live my life accordingly. Well, pretty much for the next 20 years, you could take my life and throw it in the garbage can. Most of the time I spent inside, locked up, as a result of my addiction and the life that I was living. I came to Florida in 1984. I wound up in Seminole County Jail, which was not surprising. I'd been in a lot worse places than that, but for some reason I had hit my bottom. I got down on my knees and I called out to the God that I didn't even know whether he existed or he was listening to what I had to say or if he cared at all. And I asked him, I said, if you can hear what I'm saying, then I ask that you intervene on my behalf. And he heard what I was saying. And from there I went to prison. It wasn't one of these things where bam, a bolt of lightning came and I was a free man. My father was always my, my hero. Of course, he had his problems, but I loved him. You know, nobody can, he could start a sentence, I could finish it. And in 1997, he died during an assault, <clears throat> had a heart attack, gone, that quick. I was unprepared for that. Spiritually, I wasn't prepared for it. So everything that was working for me stopped working. I had nothing to, to rely on at that point. I had all kinds of mad thoughts, thinking about hurting myself, hurting others, using drugs. I went back to Florida and the next thing I know I'm at a Promise Keeper event over there in Tampa at the Old Hand Stadium. And they made the altar call. And I remember being as far away from the altar as I could possibly get. But when they made that altar call, I couldn't get down to the altar fast enough. It's a good thing I didn't break my neck in there. <laughs> but I was ready. And God had been grooming me all of these days to that moment where I gave my life to him unconditionally. And then immediately after that, people were saying, Hagen's crazy, he went off the deep end, he's religious, blah, 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 you know? Guess what? I wasn't the same man, that's for sure. But this is the real deal. And, uh, and I felt I was on fire again. I was passionate about the work that was being done. I could see how Christ was in each of us. And I wanted to be more of a part of it than I was before. Over a year ago, we wound up here at Aloma. And then while we were here at Aloma, we found our way to celebrate freedom. And I was introduced to the leadership at Celebrate Freedom and Charles and his staff and what a great fit it has been for us. So I would say right now, I mean, if some of you are thinking about, you know, wanting to serve in some capacity, or if some of you are, are, are experiencing some life controlling issues that are going on, if you feel hopeless or helpless, you know, I would ask you, I'd say right now, to just to go ahead and reach out to Celebrate Freedom, reach out to some of the leadership here alone and look at my life and see how God has taken something that is totally broken, that man looks at and says, that's garbage. There is no value in that. And that he has turned it into something, you know, of great service that I can be of value to him and others. 
When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was in prison, you came and you visited me. My name is John Hagen, and through the love of Jesus Christ, I am redeemed.